All right, first thing, a reminder of the idea of putting your metronome on at 20 beats a minute and playing the A minor scale up and down, quarter notes. You wait for the click to go, and then you play the note. So anytime you feel like you keep anticipating the beat instead of waiting to hear it, uh, just drop the metronome down to 20, play that A minor scale, and kind of like remind yourself to lay back on the beat. Lay back on the beat. So remember, we we need to follow the metronome. The metronome can't follow us. We have to follow the click. So we never want to anticipate the beat. So laying back on it, remember, you, you want to think like you're playing just a split second after that click. It's easier said than done, for sure. I mean, I even have to remind myself of it sometimes. So, but that's the big takeaway is to lay back on it, lay back on it. Um, so let's get cracking at, we have fruit number one here. So here it is at 60. One, two, three, four. One and, and, and 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 four. Just jump to 120 and a one, two, three, four. One and, and, and four. One of the big challenges of taking these familiar strumming patterns and changing the chords where we're going to change them is it's going to feel, most likely, it will feel a bit foreign to you because you're having to change your hand at a different time. Even though the right hand is, is doing something you've been doing, it, it just fair warning, it might mess with your head a little bit, throwing the chords in at different places. I mean, it's that's natural happens to me happens to everybody and counting it as you go while you're changing things up so the brain might get pushed a little bit this week just to warn you just want to let you know what's happening or what might happen so here we go one two three four one two and 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 one two and 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 one Double time. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. That's not the right one. That's the first one. Okay. <laughs> Probably wonder what? Wait a minute. Here we go. Three. Number three. Um, yeah. Okay. Here we go. For real this time. One, two, three, four. And two, three, and, and, and 
two, three, and, 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 two, three, and, and, done. Double time. One, two, three, four. And two, three, and. Number four. One, two, three, four, and, and three, four, and, 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 and, and three. Double time. One, two, three, four. And then three, four, and Snow started to itch as soon as I started playing that one. Man. Uh anyway and the final one the one i assume will be the trickiest let's see how well i can do this all right one two three four one and 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 four one two and and four and two Double time. One, two, three, four. One and 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 four. One, two, and four. And two, three. Oh, I screwed it up. I screwed it up. Yeah, let's look at that again. So we got one, two, three, four. All right. Let's hope I don't do that again. One, two, three, four. One, and, 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 everything um yeah take your time with it no need to uh try and get from 60 to 120 as fast as possible the goal is to get there as accurate as possible so take your time and even if you even if you don't get to 120 in, in the next week that's not a, not a problem I mean, if I don't expect you not to. I mean, like today, I mean, quite a few times you nailed those rhythm exercises. So I know you're like right in the cusp of being pretty comfortable 
with these strum patterns here. Um, so having the chord changes the way we're doing it this week uh, just kind of forced that brain to lock into it a bit better. And then like if you go back to doing just one chord for the whole bar, suspect it should be a lot easier. Um, yeah, just do what you've been doing. Break it down into pieces whenever you need to. Repeat one or two bars anytime you feel the need to. So that's very good. Keep doing that. Um, you can even make more of an endurance type thing. So let's say you get to like 100 and it's pretty challenging for you to follow the metronome. Like maybe at 100 on one of these you start to want to anticipate it and you start to go a little bit too fast well maybe back it down by 10 beats per minute and instead of just playing it twice through play it 10 times through I mean really play it a bunch in a row because um, sometimes that can be very helpful I mean just drilling it at one tempo that you know you're comfortable with it's kind of pushing yourself but not really that's a good place to hang out for a while and then that'll help you go to that next step. So it's kind of like you're raising your bass skill level a bit. And I talk about that with like speed training stuff. Let's so like say somebody is getting stuck at doing like some 16th note pattern at 160. So I might have them do something at 140 or even as low as 120 for instead of doing like a exercise at only like two bars. I'll give them something where they're playing at the 120 or 140 for 20 or more bars. Like a huge amount of stuff playing at a tempo that's close to where they're being really pushed, but still in a comfortable zone to where they know they can do it, but then they just push that endurance thing, so it just it's kind of like raises their starting speed up a little bit more and more and more, just like Olympic lifters will do lots of sub-maximal training and just practice with the bar when I anyway I think we've gone over that already so yeah if you have any questions please let me know take your time keep up the good work and I'll see you next week <laughs>